After we qualified, um, we set sight on the um, expectations for the draw in terms of the teams that will be drawn against in, in the group. And so fortunately, CAF uh, conducted the draw and um, uh, we were drawn against the host nation, uh, Morocco, uh, Guinea and Congo. And so we then you know, started planning in terms of how we would prosecute the tournament. And so, um, in fact, first we thought about campaign, doing a campaign in France. And so we uh, did the arrangement, but we found out that by this time of the year, all the leagues are on break. So it might be a bit, a bit of a challenge in getting a team. Because I think one of the countries had given indication, an agent spoke to us, given indication of campaign in France. So we thought we were going to get one of the participating countries to play. And then they, lost, they changed their mind to do the campaign in Morocco. And so we had to then uh, rethink our strategy and go to a country where we'll get a match to play. So we started speaking to uh, Egypt um, and uh, through an agent. Unfortunately, they agreed that they will play us on the 15th of June. So we then had to move our campaign here. Because um, if you do the campaign, you obviously need to test your strength in terms of uh, how prepared you are. So that's how come um, we are in Egypt now. We planned coming to Egypt, I think, over a week ago. Uh, but when we planned, I think that Ghana League Garden uh, has also not ended and the players were needed by their clubs. Even the coaches uh, team, they also have their team. And so we then decided to allow for them to play the last match, last round of matches before we uh, travel. And so after the last round of matches, immediately on the next day, which was Monday, we traveled to Egypt. Um, other players who play um, in different countries also, we arranged for them to meet us here. And so as you can see, I think we have almost about full complement of the house. We're expecting a couple of players, but beyond that, I think they are here. And uh, uh, the Egyptian FA, we spoke about, about the match. They said the match is going to be Alexandra. And then I know this city very, very well. And for this training pitch here, Alex West was one of the training pitches for the U20 Afghan. And so it's a pitch I know very, very well. And so when they described everything, I thought that was good. And then we agreed to come here. And so this is the training and then tomorrow, We'll be playing against the under-23 team of Egypt. And you could have gotten, I mean, um, a good start to play. We're talking about the defending champions. We're talking about Egypt who have also qualified for um, the under-23 Afghan. And so I think that it will be a, um, a very, very good match for us. And then to, you know, complement the preparations we are doing for the tournament. So now we're playing against Egypt under-23, the defending champions of the U23 Afghan here in Alexandra. After that, we spend a day here and then we'll go back to Cairo uh, to continue the preparation. In Cairo, to we've lined up a match, I think we'll play on the 19th um, against a club side on the, on, the, on the 19th of June. And then in two days' time, which will be 21st, because the tournament will start 24th. So 21st, we plan to travel from Cairo to Morocco to begin the tournament proper. Our first game will not be until the 25th, and so we plan to leave Egypt on the 21st of June and arrive the same day on the 21st of June in, the, in uh, Casablanca. And um, we'll begin the tournament proper. So that is the plan or the program for the uh, pre-tournament campaign. Well, right from day one, it's not even up and um, now that we are setting the target. I mean, when the team was assembled and when we started with the qualifiers, we first of all, we said to ourselves that we need to qualify for the AFCON. And after qualification for the AFCON, the target is for us to qualify for the Olympics. Yes, I know that if we, are, if we end up winning the tournament, I mean, it will be a bonus, it will be a plus that we would graciously welcome. But the target, the ultimate target for us is to qualify for the Olympics. You do remember that we haven't qualified for the Olympics as a country since 2004. And so I think that these guys are bent on helping us to you know, realize that um, um, aim and objective for us to qualify for the Olympic Games. So that, that's our target. Okay, it's a tournament. You know, it's, it's a, a, a one-off game. You normally will not get all these people because it's just one of one of game. And so the coaches normally will handle because before the team, the players will arrive, they will be playing in their teams. So they will arrive physically, I mean, up there already. So you might not need a top-notch physical trainer for all those things. If you have, fine. But we didn't have, and the coaches managed. But this one going to a tournament proper, and it's going to span over weeks, days. And so scientifically, you need to keep the players up there. And so we need to get a, a people with a scientific background and the proper qualification as fitness coaches. The reason why we are trying to get a fitness coach from, I think, uh, Switzerland. And then you see the video analysis here. It's also a Ghanaian, a young guy based in uh, England. 
and then all these things, uh, if in terms of even the training they are doing, is going to get the data and you know, process them and then discuss with the coach in terms of the uh, physical um, strength of all the players and the running and the, their speed limit and everything is going to feed. So that would feed into your selection. In fact, if you are selecting maybe somebody to, um, you know, tackle a particular player and then the player is a speedster, then you go through your system and know that you have two right backs, which of them, you know, would have the strength and the, and the speed to match up with the, the player that you want your uh, defender to, 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 to tackle. So all these things are important when you go into a period of um, uh, weeks and months or days that you are in a tournament. So the reason why we are getting older, we want to fill out the needed um, technical department so that the team doesn't lack anything and that the team is fully prepared for the tournament. As uh, an association, the Ghana Football Association, or as management, that's our responsibility. Once we do that, then the coaches obviously would not have any excuse than to deliver on the mandate of qualifying for the um, um, Olympic Games in, in France next year. Yeah, we've spoken to some of the players in the, in the uh, Team A, the, the Black Stars, and the plan is that if they agree, we've arranged that if they agree and um, everything works according to plan, after the Madag Madagascar game is on the 18th of uh, June, so after instead of them flying back to Ghana or different countries, they'll fly to join us in, in Egypt. If all of us will go to um, uh, Morocco. So we are still negotiating with um, their club. Some of them want their players early for early preseason, or they want their players to rest so that they can um, report back for preseason and that stuff. So we are still negotiating with all those all those players and see if everything works out. They would uh, join this team after the um, the Afcon qualifier against Madagascar. So because of that, we also take the issue to have them registered for the tournament. Because deadline is today, the fourteenth. And so we cannot wait until the 18th or 19th for them to make up. So we need to register them. So if they make up their mind to participate, then you know that you have registration for them already. And so everything is under control.